What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Stuff People Send Us. The show where we open up the stuff that you guys send us. You got this? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You keep looking at me like, I don't know, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this first package comes from Chris from Grapevine, Arkansas. Oh. Uh, oh. All right, we got some, is there a letter? There's a letter. Looks like we, uh... There, you start getting some stuff going. Heard it from the grapevine, am I right? What's up, Game Chasers? I thought I'd send you guys some stuff that I had lying around, lying around, and thought you would enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy the contents of these two packages. Two packages. Take care and keep up the great content. What? Thank you, Chris. All right, so we have, uh... The Page Master on Super Nintendo Manual. Manual. Love these nuts in your mouth. Uh, we have some... A couple more manuals. Game Boy, Game Shark. We got... Pokey fuck. We got a Pokemon book. Listen, whenever Pokemon stuff comes in, Jordan will text me and be like, hey man, I want that book. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Great Escape PC. Uh, we've got the Empire Strikes Back. Was that supposed to be Palpatine? Star Wars books? I don't know. I've never seen that. I've never seen these actually. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so. Star Wars The Glove of Darth Vader. Uh, sorry, Darth Vapor. Zorba the Hutt's Revenge, and a second one of cover variant, Zorba the Hutt's Revenge. Oh, we've got Prophets of Dark Side. Forget Dark about Side. It. Uh, missions from Mount from Mount Yoda. What the fuck? Are you going to read these? Uh, No. Because you can't read? No. I, co I collect them. I actually have a lot of Star Wars books. I like collecting them, but will I actually sit down and read them? Probably not, but I, they're cool. I like them just simply for the artwork. Worlds of Power, Bionic Commando. I think this is a story based on the game or something. We got some World of Warcraft PC stuff. Uh, we got some PlayStation games here. We've got In Your Ass. <laughs> the um, fighting game? I don't know, but I think it's... It's uh, Inu Yashi, a feudal fairy tale. Yasha, sorry. <laughs> In your ass. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Test Drive 5. Good series. So juvenile. Hang on, speaking of games, we have some Genesis of Batman Our Red Arms. We have... Uh, Complete in bulk. WWF The War Zone Tomb Raider. Oh, which is not a interesting. Game. PlayStation 3 remote boxed. Ooh. I've never seen one boxed before. And since I'm Ooh, this War Zone is factory Blowhard. <laughs> And we got some comics. Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, 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 uh, Mid Midnight Midnight Suns, Midnight Suns, and Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace movie storybook. Better movie than Last Jedi. Not wrong. I think you guys shit on The Last Jedi too much. It wasn't that bad. No, it really was that bad. Uh, it was bad. You never saw the Solo movie, did you? Nope. That's a shame, man. It was actually good. Nope. And I'm not going to see episode I'm... nine. Yeah, you are. Um, you know what? I, I, and I'm, I, I, okay, look. It's been five, what, four or five months, six months since Solo came out. I never hadn't seen that yet. I'm not saying I'll eventually see it. I'll eventually see it. I just, I'm in no... So if you had tickets, opening night... For episode nine. I'm not going to opening night. I'm speaking with my wallet or your wallet because you usually buy the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> speaking with my wallet, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna go. I'm not going. I'm fuck it. I'm gonna go. I'm not going. It's the last one in the trilogy. Uh, the last one in the trilogy for me is episode six. I liked the Force Awakens, okay, but this movie, The Last Jedi, was so bad it ruined the Force Awakens for me. Dude, come on. You got to give it one more try, dude. No, you can't, can't just. Man. You can't. No, look. It's like a relationship. Someone you're in a relationship with a, a woman or guy in your case they do something that makes you mad it's not like a one and done like oh fuck you get out of here you forgive you move on and you hope they don't repeat the same mistakes so i think you got to forgive move on watch the solo movie because i think you're going to enjoy it actually if kathleen kennedy is in charge then the same mistakes are going to happen i don't think she is though she is i thought she stepped down She's, you know, I wish I could say stuff, but I can't. But no, she, she's got her nose heavily into everything. Oh, you got inside information? I actually do. Legitimately. But I can't. All right, this is from uh, just an initial, I'm not going to say the last name, but you're from Morgan Morganton, North Carolina. So we're open. We're just going to go ahead and do a federal crime opening in Mel Force Mel. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Fuck him, he should be here. What's the rule? Well, it has a name on it, so I guess the rule doesn't 
necessarily apply here. Hey, I guess that's what he gets for, you know. Working? Yeah, actually he'll, he'll cream his panties over this one. I wonder if he bought that. He's even got the thermos. Dude, that's minty as hell. I wonder if the thermos smells like old like SpaghettiOs. Or like old 80s kid spit. <laughs> My, I always associate this with the, well it's been used. Ooh, oh, that's bad. It smells like... <laughs> Did you put something in there? <laughs> what, my dick? <laughs> it smells like your dick. I don't, I don't have Eric dick, so yeah, it smells like, kind of like Eric dick. <coughs> it smells like old people BO, dude. Ah, fuck. Woo! It's still cool, though. It's very cool. He needs to wash that. So, <laughs> this has his name on it, too. <laughs> Uh, this is from John from uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama. Is he just ordering these? Well, I mean, they don't... They, well, maybe he is. Does it have an eBay label on it? Oh, he wouldn't send it to the P.O. box. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, he well, maybe. Return of the Jedi lunchbox. No, somebody saw that because they saw it on Toy Chasers. That's why. Or uh, Game Chasers. Oh! Oh! And this one has the Thermos as well. The Thermos. Which ups the value, by the way, for you uh, collectors out there. If you have the thermos, it ups the value. This one has the little little spout. That's how mine always work. What's this one smell like? I was about to smell it. So 1983. It kind of smells the same, just not as strong. Yeah. That's really weird. So 19, 1980s lunchbox thermoses smell like old men. So many jokes in that, right? Uh, I'm sure you wish that uh, Mel Brooks would be here to see the look on his face, but yeah, I mean, he's allotted he's allotted five minutes uh, a week to film, and it just hope, happens to not coincide with uh, this moment. Uh, but trust me, he'll like this because the one he was looking at on the on the show was all rusted and disgusting looking. This is really good shape. It was. That's where I've seen that before. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make sure he gets these for sure. We're not gonna. Be scumbags I, I, I would love to have it. I would love to steal it, but I can't because it's on video now. Yeah, and it actually had his name on the thing, so there's that. But yeah, yeah, there's that um, small detail. I think that's gonna do it for this week. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you.